It's time for Tim Connolly to work that magic once again. A lot of Nuggets fans debating over who we should pick, but let's think. How were the Nuggets last year? How did they play? Now, similar to this one side of this really cool looking pink band-aid with ducks on it, Nuggets offense looked amazing last year. We're actually one of the best offensive teams in the league. Despite all the inconsistencies in our lineups and injuries, we were doing quite good. But just like most band-aids, the Nuggets had a really ugly side. Our defense was one of the worst in the league, in almost every defensive facet. But like any cut or wound, we at least can diagnose our problem with ease, and it is obvious that by simply improving our defense, we can elevate our team into play of contention. Now, assuming that we're looking for starter material, we've got to think, what kind of players do we actually need? Well, looking at this depth chart, we're loaded with young, promising talent at the guard positions, and at small forward, we're pretty stacked as well, even if Gallo or Wilson Chandler leaves. So I think we've got to be looking at the big man position. Yusuf Nurkic, he was the perfect defender for us. He could protect the rim, and at the same time, he could switch and follow players in the perimeter. The problem with Nurkic, and it was really sad, because I really liked him, was on offense, he would dominate the paint. And this really limited Jokic's passing ability because of that lack of spacing. And look, this was definitely evident at halfway through the season. When Jokic was starting, we went from a poor offensive team to literally one of the best in the league. So, I think it's fair to say that we need a power forward that can bring some much needed defense to the team, but most importantly, he can stretch the floor as well. So, in my opinion, that brings us to two different tantalizing candidates, OG Abinobi and Jonathan Isaac. I hope I said Abinobi right. Both players who fulfill these desired attributes, let's look at the floor spacing. So, based on the stats provided by Draft Express, both players shot the exact same amount of threes per game and at very similar rates, with Jonathan shooting a slightly higher percentage. Jonathan Isaac appears to be a much more versatile player with better ISO scoring ability, whereas OG is more of a spot up shooter, doesn't have much of an ISO game and reportedly has no mid range in his game. It is clear that Jonathan Isaac is better equipped as a scorer, however OG can still space the floor as a spot up shooter, so in terms of floor spacing I don't think there's that much of a difference. Now we know each player can spread the floor at this point of their games, but how is their defense? Well, OG is the shorter and stockier one, and he's got a similar body to Draymond Green. He's six foot eight. He's got a huge wingspan of seven foot two inches. Jonathan Isaac is the taller but skinnier player. He's a similar build, I think, to Kevin Durant when he was coming in, and weighs a measly 205 pounds. That's the biggest knock on Jonathan Isaac. What differs between the two is OG is much more versatile as a defender. He has a big body and he can switch to bigger bodies in the post and he can keep up with smaller, quicker players in the perimeter with ease. He is slightly undersized as a four and that did worry me a bit about him being a good shot blocker, but I've watched a load of videos. He's got long arms. He's got a standing reach of eight foot 11 inches, only an inch shorter than Jonathan Isaac. Jonathan Isaac has good potential as a defender due to his size, length, footwork and reaction speed. He is intriguing as a shot blocker as well, no doubt. His only knock on him is his defensive discipline and whether or not he is strong enough to handle stronger players in the post. Even though OG has drifted further down the muck draft projections, I still feel OG will be the perfect fit for this team. All the reports say he's a good cutter, a good spot up shooter and he's unselfish and he brings a pedigree of defense to any team that I think we really need and I'm just not convinced Jonathan Isaac can bring it. Jonathan Isaac brings much more promising offense as a rangy power forward that can block shots but I just don't think he'll be worth the package that we might have to pay for him. I think it would cost us quite a lot to move down, a draft pick, a young player and another vet and potentially another young player on that. But look, that's just my opinion. Before we know, Tim Connolly's probably found his man. And to be honest, we've got to trust him because he has been making some very good picks for us. I can't wait for the Draft Nuggets fans. Thanks for watching. And let's cross our fingers and let's hope for the best.